Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bad Influence, and today's video is gonna be a little mini challenge video for building. This is actually a first time exercise when I started taking The Sims 4 a little bit more seriously when it came to building. Prior to this, I kind of just downloaded everything off the gallery, but for whatever reason, I decided I wanted to buckle down and learn how to build in The Sims. I wanted to do a build challenge, but I was very non-committal about it and I didn't want to do a super big difficult challenge. So I decided to make up my own that would be fairly quick and easy. And I actually got the idea for my challenge while I was sitting around watching Judd Apatow's Knock Up, which for whatever reason, I always enjoy watching that film. And my inspiration came during the scene with Paul Rudd and Seth Rogen in the hotel room in Las Vegas with all the chairs. You know the one. There are five different types of chairs in this hotel room. That's right, Paul. That is a lot of chairs when you line them all up like that. But I kind of got intrigued at the idea and wanted to see how difficult it would be to put five different types of chairs into one room in a Sims build. Was it really that hard? Was it really that overwhelming an amount of chairs for one room? So I started it out with just a box and for whatever reason, I chose to decorate the office space first before even putting walls or doing anything. I was just trying to figure my way around this space. I do use CC throughout the build and it's all from the CurseForge app. And I will try to list everything I used in the description, but yes, it is definitely all in the CurseForge app for download. And when I started to map out the space, it turned into kind of a loft vibe uh, with you know, partitioned walls, which still counts as one room in my opinion. It's not that much different from a hotel room, okay? <laughs> different sections, but it's still just one room. So I decided to um, put an office space, a kitchen, also worked on a little kind of separate coffee bar area, and then a platform bed, and saving the best for last, a cozy little reading nook area as well. And naturally, since this is a build video, I did go ahead and add a list to my Amazon storefront of inspired decor and items on Amazon from this build, just because it's fun for me to Amazon shop and look at stuff that I can't afford. So if you'd like to take a gander at what I found, you can definitely click the link in the description. Link is also available on my channel page for my Amazon storefront. Okay, I think I've talked enough and I'm going to be quiet for a little while so that you can just sit back and enjoy the build.
So at this point in the build, I had been chugging along, doing just fine. But this is where I stalled to a grinding halt because I started to have absolutely no idea what else to do in the space and what other chair to include. I was panicking. Paul Rudd, why would you do this to me? I was rethinking the whole layout. I was changing the direction of rooms. Like it was just a whole big mess. I had to stop and recalibrate because I was losing it. But eventually it all worked out. There's just a little bit of reworking that happens at this point in the floor plan.
honestly, this build definitely turned out a lot longer and harder than I thought it would, both because I'm a novice to building at this point, and also because even with CC and having chairs that look very matchy-matchy, I don't know why it was very hard for me to figure out how to use five different chairs. That's just, it just, it was a challenge, actually. The five chair challenge is actually a real challenge. That's my take off this whole video. If you've stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. This build is uploaded to the gallery under my EA ID Bad Simfluence. And feel free to use the hashtag five chair challenge in the gallery if you feel like doing the challenge yourself. Thank you so much for watching.